Hi guys, today I would like to give some pointers to those beginners who just decided to go on a healthier lifestyle journey and they would like to lose fat and get into shape. So first of all, I've heard that people say you cannot lose weight, you cannot lose fat and put on muscle at the same time. First, you have to lose the fat and then you can put on muscle. Well, that's not true. You can and you should do the two together because the more muscle you carry, the higher your metabolism is, which means the more energy you burn throughout the whole day. If your main goal is to lose fat in the gym, then I still recommend um, weightlifting, not just cardio. And when you do the weightlifting, try to choose exercises that are compound movements because compound movements involve more than just one muscle. There are isolating and compound movements. Compound movements involve more than just one muscle, which means you will burn more energy by doing them. So, for example, a simple bicep curl, only the bicep is involved, so that's an isolating movement. A deadlift, however, a squat, those are compound movements because uh, your back is involved, your arms, your shoulders, and your core, and even your, your lower body as well. So try to choose compound movements for your workouts. In terms of frequency, I would recommend that if you haven't trained in your life or you haven't trained for a very, very long time, then you start with two or maximum three days a week. That way you give your body enough time to recover from workout to workout and also your body will adapt after a period of time. So try with two or maximum three times a week. Then after about two or three weeks, up it by one more day and then another two, three weeks later, up it to about five days a week training. Or if you want later on, maybe six days. However, don't forget about your rest days. So I don't recommend training seven days a week, especially when you start off. In terms of the length of your workout, I would recommend that when you start off, you do probably about 20, 30 minutes of weightlifting and then another about 15 or maximum 20 minutes of cardio. If you jump right into it and you start doing like an hour cardio because you're so keen to lose the weight, now then where are you going to go after that? So once your body adapted and you're not losing any more weight after about three or four weeks, you're going to do one and a half hours of cardio. So try and do it slowly and start with the minimum. 30 minutes of weightlifting, 15 minutes of cardio, and then you can always up it gradually. In terms of your food, what I recommend to do right from the beginning is to eliminate refined and added sugars. Start reading the nutrition labels, okay? Most of the dressings have added sugars in them. Whether you notice or not, you just need to look on the label. So try to completely eliminate added sugars. Fruits are fine. Obviously, fruits have a lot of sugars in them as well, but that's natural sugar and some sugar you need. However, the refined sugars you don't need. Also try to avoid foods like bread or pasta. Okay, so there are a lot better options for carbs other than bread and pasta. Oats, sweet potato, rice, depending on how you prepare them, obviously, they are very good sources of carbs. Now, I would also like to point out that eating clean doesn't mean that you will never, ever have your favorite food again. You can but you need to build up the discipline first. You need to eat clean for a certain period of time. And trust me on this, once you start seeing the changes in your body, that is going to be your motivation to keep going. Now, 
once you have a certain amount of time on clean foods, you can have a cheat meal, depending on how strict you are while you're eating clean. At the beginning, you might not be able to have a cheat meal very often. It depends on how disciplined you are with your everyday clean eating. And it kind of also depends on your hormonal imbalance, you know, because the longer period of time you spend on eating clean or even on intermittent fasting, your hormones will balance out. And I'm mostly talking about your insulin levels. Most probably you have high insulin sensitivity right now, and that's why you're struggling with losing weight. Now, once that balances out, it comes down a little bit, uh, you will see that probably you can afford a little bit more frequent cheat meals as well because your body will work a lot better with the food that you're eating. It will burn it off and therefore you can afford to have a little bit more cheat meals. So that's in a nutshell. Uh, for the beginners who would like to start their journey. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to email me. I can help you with some tips, or if you would like, uh, we can do online coaching as well. And in my online coaching uh, program, I give you a nutrition plan, I give you a training plan, and I actually help you with your training almost virtually because I provide training videos for you to explain certain exercises, how you can do them in the gym, which could be very useful if you are a beginner in the gym as well. So you can hit me up either on my email or you can get in touch through my website.